Hello, everybody. Hello, guys. How are you? <laughs> You've just been greeted by by Mia and Coffee. They're here. They're here standing by. Together with Mimi and Lady over there. Look at this. Coffee, say hello. Hmm? So you guys there? Let me see. Can't see any comment. Hi, good evening. Good evening to Germany. How are you guys? Okay. Um, today's, today's live session um, is called Saying Goodbye. And, um, and I would like it to be I would like it to be a, a reflection on, on something that is uh, sad, but that is, uh, in fact, a uh, part of life. And it's, uh, and it's what happened when, uh, when we lose one of our friends, one of, uh, one of these guys, like Mia over here, or oh, like this girl there sleeping with these guys. So peaceful. I mean, I know this, uh, this uh, episode today may trigger uh, some bad memories to many of you, actually to all of you. If you have animals, you have probably lost a friend. You have probably had to let go a friend. Uh, but I wanted to, to discuss with you some, some points and maybe just, just to exchange some ideas about how it feels and how it might mean for us when we lose one of our pets, one of our dogs, cats, you know, one of our friends. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about, uh, about pet loss. I'm not going anywhere. I know, no, not for the time being, hopefully. Um, I mean, today I was just looking at some pictures of some of the rescues that we have done over the years. I started 18 years ago and I still have pictures of those days. And I was, I was looking on my iPhone and I was just scrolling upwards to the years, you know, and I, I started seeing pictures and I realized that all the dogs that are in those pictures uh, are gone. All of them. Luis, I know I don't live in the White House. <laughs> I, no, I don't have my own place. So, so I was scrolling down and my God, Every dog there, every cat, they are all gone. Every animal that I started saving, they, they're all gone now, all of them. I don't think there is any exception. They've all gone. Now, over the years, families have been contacting me when one of the dogs died. And, uh, and that's, that's always very sweet that they remember who saved the dog and who puts that dog in that, in that house. It's always it's a really nice feeling, but, uh, but it's very sad as well because then all these memories come and uh, it's, not, uh, it's not easy. How many dogs have you lost, guys? How many family members have you lost? Uh, Dominique, Dominic, about Jack, okay? I'll take note, I'll reply to your email, Dominic. Ah. So, we were just talking about the dogs that we currently have at the, at the great house. And this, this morning, Linda and I were, were just, I mean, some of our dogs are sick. 
uh, some of the, our dogs are getting old and we realize that we have a very, very, very old uh, population, actually. They're all getting old. And in coming days and months, uh, we know we will be losing some of them. Today, it was Chicky, one of our dogs that started having seizures. Nancy has also been sick in recent months. She also has seizures. And yesterday, yesterday we lost one of our friends, one of the old residents of the, of the, of the great house. Uh, there will be a video on this tomorrow. We have lost Lola. Lola. So this, uh, this, this kept me thinking and put me thinking like, how do you guys cope with, uh, with the loss of a friend? Um, I mean, in, in, in this case it's different because I mean, I mean, you will see tomorrow's video and, and you will see how it happened. Um, she really wasn't my dog. So, so you don't get to build this really strong connection that you build with a family member. But, uh, but still, you know, it felt really, really bad. And I was there when it happened and I was there hugging her when she left. Anyway, I will be telling you more about, uh, more about uh, Lola's passing on tomorrow's video. Uh, Luis, yes, uh, we have people working in the houses. We have people working in the house. Um, Lola, Lola was rescued just about a year ago. She was run over by a car, brought to our hospital. Uh, Isidore decided to not to put her to sleep, decided to fight for her, and he did. And she's had a great life for a year, but she was very old. And uh, lately she wasn't feeling well. And yesterday morning, um, yesterday morning she started shaking uncontrollably. You will see on tomorrow's video. And, and I decided together with Linda, of course, uh, that it was time that uh, there was nothing else we could do. Anyway, uh, I will be telling you more about, uh, about Lola's on, on tomorrow's video. I will record it tomorrow. When today I wasn't feeling too good to, to record this. Also, I would like to make a nice video. So I need, I need uh, Carla, our editor and everything. So yeah. Anyway, just, just wanted you to, to tell me maybe uh, how, many, how many animals have you lost over the years? I mean, some of, I mean, some of you guys that are older, maybe lots of them, but it never gets any easier, right? I mean, I remember years ago, it felt really, really terrible. And it really felt terrible. And today, the impact is there, but maybe not so, not so strongly and not so, my reaction is not as visceral, but I feel bad in a different way. I think over the years, you learn how to, you learn how to cope with loss in a way that you don't do when you're younger. You're not used to it. As time passes, um, as time passes, we we lose so many things. I think we get kind of used to it. And anyway, red. You've lost six animals, two dogs, two bunnies. Patricia, two of your best in the last five years. Son to cancer. Debbie, hi. Yeah, watching your children go through it. Yeah, my kids so far have not... Uh, I've not witnessed any, 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 any death yet, but I, I know in some, 
at some point they will. And it's, uh, well, 11, Janine, 11. Eight dogs, Lisa McGrew. Eight dogs, feels horrible. Two cats, Miren, has perdido dos. Yeah, stray or not stray, it feels the same. Three, Roholi. Three dogs, Debbie. Six cats, six cats. Yeah. I mean, think about it. How much animal lovers have to grieve over the years after losing so many. But then once I heard that it was actually a blessing that dogs and cats live much less than we do. Because imagine how it will be if they lived longer. Actually, at, sometimes they do. When we are older, if we pass before them, you know, then what happened to those animals? But, but fortunately, they die before we do. So we get to, we get to bury them, and it's painful. But we get to put a, a close into that life, that without us, they will be the ones left behind and the ones facing an uncertain future, future. Which brings, which brings me to the, to the point of, uh, of I want you guys today, I mean, all of you, if you're hearing this, if you're watching this live, today I want you to reflect on what's gonna happen to your animals or what could happen to your animals if you passed away today. Do you have any any plan B? Do you have a backup for your animals? I know many of you have many animals. I mean, this is a multi-animal community. I mean, very few people only have one dog. Many of us have two, three, four, two dogs and three cats. It's very common. But today, I mean, just as a positive exercise of reflection, I would like you to reflect on what will happen to your animals if you passed today. And today is not a funny video. It's not an upbeat a one. Today is a, is a hard, hard video. I want you to reflect. And those hard reflections are usually the good ones because they make us face with, with, with true problems and true situations. What will happen if you passed today? Who will take care of your animals? And maybe you can, you can let me know here in the comments. What could happen? <sighs> yeah, Janine. You have to. Michelle, I understand. I understand. No, my question is, it's not what happens if they get sick. That, that, that I know, we all deal with it differently, but what will happen if you died, if you passed away today? For example, if I pass today, suddenly, <laughs> I know Linda is gonna take care of these guys. We have a deal. Eh? Well, maybe not, maybe not coffee because he's going to a home, he's adopted. But if something happened to my animals, Linda will take care of it. We'll take them. And, and I know they'll be okay. And if something happened to her animals, it will be the same. But I want you to, guys, I want you to think and to make plans, to have a plan B for your animals. Really, they, they deserve it. Because it's not only about us being sorry for losing them, they, they face that situation sometimes as well, themselves. Dominique, you've made a will. Yeah, this is it. This is it, you have to, you have, to have some sort of plan for them. They deserve it. They deserve it. 
Your cats will be taken by the local cat rescue. It's been arranged. Okay, Raven. Good. You have spoken to them. Because sometimes, I mean, my kids are small. They are just seven years old. And they live with a... Uh, with a... <coughs> Wait, no. what happened? What happened? What happened? What? 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 ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? What happened? What happened? Relax. Relax. We have a situation here. Mimi has called off the alarm. Okay. I think she understood what we were talking about and she said, no way, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> anyway, my, my kids are just seven years old and, and they're too young and their mother, I know she wouldn't do anything for these guys, but Linda will take care of them if something happens. Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> she doesn't like to talk about death. <laughs> Poor, my God. Okay, let me see. You lost three dogs, Brigitte, and 10 guinea pigs. Yeah, and they don't live, they don't live too long either. Your rabbit mom, five sweethearts. You have a horse, and you're planning to give him a Long time shelter. Okay. So, okay. Um, yeah, Elizabeth, you, you will see tomorrow. You will see tomorrow. She, we had to let her go. She started uh, seizing, shaking uncontrollably, and there was nothing. We gave her some. We gave her something to stop the shakes, but uh, it was it was not possible, and uh, and we had to let her go. She was very old. She was very very old. And she was very senile, and there was nothing else we could do. You, you, you'll see tomorrow's video. I'll try to make it special. So, okay, let's change, uh, let's change subject a bit. No, Kim, no, no, I'm not going anywhere. Please, not going anywhere. I'm here. Today's video was just uh, about losing losing our pets. No, I'm not going anywhere. Come on. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. So update. Jack. Jack. We operated him last week. Remember? Jack is a shepherd dog. Um, was operated from a torn cruciate ligament. You saw the surgery or part of the surgery on, on Monday. And uh, he's been resting ever since. And today we, we just realized that his leg is, uh, is a bit swollen, so we're going to take him to the hospital tomorrow to see if something went wrong. I don't think so, because he's been completely still without moving uh, and resting. So this is one of the things. Um, where else? Nano is also going back to the hospital. We're going to start. Uh, we're going to do the surgeries for, for, his, uh, for his hip. He needs a hip replacement. Yeah hip replacement like a human, and Nano is so big, but what a great dog he is. What a great dog. Um, tomorrow, on, on our second channel, we have, a, we have a second channel called Let's Adopt Behind the Scenes. Check it out. In my, my brother Jairo runs it, and he uploads there some videos, some things that we don't normally get to show. Uh, Nicola, Yes, yes, yes. We, we filmed the operations and we put them on Patreon uncensored. It couldn't happen the other day, but, but yes, we, we normally do that. Anyway, our second channel, Let's Adopt Behind the Scenes, is run by, is run by Jairo, my brother. And uh, he's, uh, he's uploading videos of the things that we don't normally get to show you in our main channel. Um, Linda maybe can drop a, a link to Let's Adopt Behind the Scenes. To, the, to our second channel. Uh, anyway, you're gonna see how Nano is doing. We just took him to the hairdresser a couple of days ago. And no, backstage, Monica, backstage is uh, in, in Spanish. We have, a, we have a secondary channel in Spanish as well. And then we have one secondary channel in, in English. So let's adopt behind the scenes is the is the English version. Anyway, uh, so Nano is doing great and he's going, he's going to the hospital to have a hip replacement. This is happening this week. 
and it's going to be tough for him because he's so big, but he definitely, definitely needs it. Um, Patty, Cookie will learn how to use the wheelchair. I don't know, I hope so. At least he's going to get comfortable on it. Uh, whether he learns how to use it or not, it's not really about learning. It's about whether his brain sends the message to his legs and he can use them. It's not about learning for him. It's about whether the neurotransmission works. Uh, Numbai, you know, I'm not passing away, hopefully, hopefully, well, you never know. I could have an accident today <laughs> with a car, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Jack is so sweet, I tell you. He is incredibly sweet, incredibly sweet. And you know what? He's been adopted already. Uh, there were quite a few families that, uh, that wanted to, to, to adopt. I still have to reply to some. But, uh, but he's finally being adopted. You will see, you will see when, when, we, when we take him home. You will see, he's a, he's a very lucky guy. Very lucky guy. <sighs> now, so yeah. So we have uh, one of us as, yeah, Lola is missing now. Good news. Maribel baby, Maribel's baby is coming this week, finally. I think yesterday was uh, the end of the countdown for nine months, and she's on borrowed time. But it's going to happen within days, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Any time now, we're going to have a we're going to have a new baby. The first let's have a baby. Well, no, no, no it's not the first let's have a baby. First let's have a baby. I guess were my babies. Um, but uh, but Maribel is having Maribel is having Martina. Yeah, it's coming now. This is coming. So happy about this. Um, great expectations at the at the great house for the arrival of the baby. Everything is organized, and this Christmas is gonna be so nice with with her and the dogs and everything. It's gonna be great. Really, really great. Rosemary, you lost your husband, your pony, and your husky all, all this year. Yeah, I read the other day. I'm sorry. Yes, Jade, Lola passed away yesterday. I will, I will make a proper announcement tomorrow, but I just wanted to, to let you, to tell you, yes. So, Grandma, you have plans. Okay, that's great. No, but seriously, everybody should, should really reflect about it and, and, and understand that, yeah, we all need a plan B. Prospect, you've lost 20 dogs and cats and eight birds. Yeah. Yeah. Patricia. Did, I find, did we find someone to take Maribel's place for now? Uh, yes and no. Yes and no. Not a, re not a replacement and not someone that is going to fulfill her duties. But what we have done is um, we have got a, a guy, a guy, really nice guy called Roland. You will meet him this week. That is going to be supporting the team. It's going to be helping the already existing team. And what we have done is we have spread duties among, among them all. Um, so he's already been in a couple of videos, I think, but I will, I will introduce you properly. So he's going to help and then they're going to divide the work among themselves. So we, so we, because it's really difficult to find someone like Maribel. You know, I received a lot of letters from a lot of great people and, uh, and they, you know, they start telling me and everything, and they say, well, I love animals. Yeah, but my animals are my passion, and it's great. And I have two, three dogs, and, uh, and I would like to move in to Spain and work with you. And I'm thinking, wow, really, how do we do this? I mean, unfortunately, we are not a, a big organization, so we cannot really host uh, an entire family. And there's been 
there's been families writing to us, wanting to work with us. I mean, that's really impressive and really moving, but, but we just couldn't do that. So, so we got Roland on board and Roland is helping the existing team and among themselves, they are spreading the, the work and hopefully, hopefully it's gonna be enough. Hopefully it's gonna be enough. Uh, but really difficult because, because we got a lot of letters, a lot of letters from a lot of very nice people, really, really lovely people. Uh, really great, great. Uh, but we cannot take people coming uh, and leaving the great house. It's called the great house because it's quite large and it's quite big, but, uh, but we don't have enough space for, for the entire families. It's not a big mansion or anything like that. It's a big place, but it's not, we cannot have a, an entire family moving in. Anyway, what else? What else? Cookie. Cookie, let's see. Let's hope that this, this chair, I mean, he's getting used to it. We're using positive reinforcement. So, so whenever, whenever he's there, we give him treats, we pet him, we give him nice words and it's that, so he's starting to like it. He's starting to associate it with a positive, positive things happening. But um, yeah, yeah, Melissa, we have a really loved team, a really nice team. Yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow you will see. Tomorrow you will see what happened to Lola, and that was uh, that was really sad. That was really sad. I'm a good man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and yes, so we have um, we have some old boys and old girls now at the house. Um, Linda, the Chihuahua, is now 19. I mean, she's going to be 20 at some point this year. Linda is still going strong. She's. Um, but we have Nancy, that is also quite old. Dickens is going strong. We have Hope at the Pink House and Monty. Those two dogs, they are both over 10, 11 years old. I mean, we have, we have Hope, a golden retriever. Think about it. A golden retriever, which is 11 years old now, has been 11 years on a wheelchair. Unbelievable. These dogs, don't normally make it so long. I mean, a dog on a wheelchair, 11 years old, this is, this is a great success. And it tells, it speaks for how well we take care of our animals, really. Hope is incontinent, uh, fecal and urinary. So you have to help him pee and poo. And like this, it's been 11 years. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, Linda, remind me, we, we need to make a, a video on Hope telling about him and show you, showing everybody how he lives. <sighs> yeah. Oh, Linda, you like the therapy sessions? Isn't it nice? The other day someone, someone wrote and she complained. She, she was say that therapy doesn't work. Physiotherapy doesn't work. So she couldn't approve uh, us giving physiotherapy to our animals. I thought, oh my God, <laughs> really? <laughs> These are the type of people that don't approve anything that we do. Uh, Jordan is doing great. Jordan is doing great. She will be, she will be on, on our next video. She's, on, she's staying in the same team as, uh, as Nancy and, and Dickens. She's really, <laughs> she's really great. She's really great. Okay, Jordan needs to be in the next video, Linda. Take note, please. Ah, Lunkies, Victor, Victor we see. Victor has moved to a, to a foster home and uh, he's doing great. There will be a video about him this week. He's now at a foster home. Uh, he's, uh, he's doing really well. We neuter him, so now. And, uh, and he's, uh, he's a great dog. He has a little issue with, uh, with small dogs that we're working on, but he's living at a foster home in, in town, 
in a, in a really nice apartment. He's doing great. He's a super dog, this one. Victor is great. Um, Lucy, yes, we adopt the cats. Actually, we have two cats going to Austria at some point. Um, yeah, yeah, we do. Yes, we do. Unfortunately, not many people write to us about cats. Uh, I don't know, we seem to be having a problem with, uh, with cat adoptions. Uh, also, when we upload a video about cats, very few people watch them. So, I don't know, I mean, I wonder, I, mean, I'm, I'm, I know that I'm incredible amount of cat lovers, but somehow our channel over the years has become more and more directed towards, towards dogs. But yeah, we rescue cats the same. I'm, I'm a cat person. Dylan is doing great. Dylan is doing great. To see next week, we'll have a cat video. Okay, I will, I will go and I will visit each one of them and I will tell you about them and you'll see how well they are doing. They're all doing great. Patty, yes, Bonita, yes, yes. It's, it's gonna be, to, Bonita's video was supposed to come tomorrow, but, uh, but tomorrow I'm gonna have a, a homage to, to Lola that passed away yesterday. But on Tuesday, there will be an update on Bonita. We already met her and the family, and she's doing great. She's doing great. Uh, the video has been already recorded and shot, and we just had to edit it, and it will be there on Tuesday. Yeah. Yes, Patty. Yeah, Bonita is doing great. <laughs> you, you will see her on Tuesday. So, um, so yeah, you have a Shih Tzu and a cat, one and a half years old. Okay, nice. May you have a long life with them, Monica. You have five back in the 90s. You don't have anybody now, Michelle? Apollo is with his family. I'm sure, I'm sure he's fine. We lost touch with them. They didn't want to be in touch, but uh, he's fine. I know he's fine. Yeah. Lola. Lola, Lola was such a gentle giant. No, Lola wasn't a giant, really. She was a, she was a medium-sized dog. Uh, she was a giant at heart, though. And she was very old, so that probably made her look bigger than she was. But, um, yeah. Alma, a hound. I don't know what breed she is. She's a massive mix with something. Yeah, Apollo is fine. Please don't worry about him. Do I ever hear about Adrian? Yes, Cynthia. Just two weeks ago, we uploaded an update about Adrian. I see Adrian three times a week because he lives with, uh, with one of my best friends, Kike, whom I see all the time. And, uh, and we uploaded a, a video about Adrian uh, last week, two weeks ago. Adrian <laughs> he goes to the tennis club, he goes to the gym, he has a great, great life. Great, great life. Maybe, Linda, if you can find Adrian's video, you can drop it here and people can watch it. It's a, it's, it's a lovely video. It's really great. Um, let me see. I'm terrific. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. By the way, thank you very much for the super chat or the super sticker that somebody donated. That's really nice. Um, for some reason, these chats, although I know people are liking them, um, they're not, I don't know. I mean, I, I wonder how many of you guys are on, on Patreon. I mean, I know many of you are. Um, if, one of, if one of you is, decided, is, is thinking about joining, please do. Patreon is really helping me a lot uh, do all of this. And with that, that community, oof, really, I just wouldn't be here. So, so if you have a chance, uh, just 
Just join us on Patreon. I will really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Debbie. I know you do. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes, sometimes I, I would like to ask you guys, if you're on Patreon, uh, please leave a comment. Leave a comment here, leave a comment in, uh, in our videos. That may invite people to, to join us. I really need you. And something happened with, with Patreon is that uh, from month to month, Unfortunately, because some credit, credit cards are declined, then the number of patrons declines uh, regularly. So, I mean, it's getting to a point where I'm quite worried. I would really, really appreciate it if, uh, if you guys joined. Definitely. Oh, Heidi, you're forgetting your password to Patreon. Well, you'll, there, is, there, is a, there, is a, there is a way to recover it. Please check it out and, and ask for a recovery code. But anyway, in any case, thank you. Thank you, because without the Patreon community, it would be a big, big problem. Thank you, Jane. Thanks a lot. It's okay, Linda. Don't worry. I mean, I know, I know it's tough. It's tough for everybody. Nicola, thank you very much. Thanks a lot for, for being on Patreon as well. Uh, whenever she can, Linda will, will drop a note. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Linda, for doing this. <sighs> Bruno is doing great. Bruno is doing great. We're still looking for a family for him. Um, the other day, a really nice family wrote, I think they were from Canada or something, and they had three dogs practically identical to Bruno. Uh, but we had log logistical problems getting the getting him there. Um, was it in Canada? Was it in somewhere in the Midwest? I don't know. I have to I have to look at it. But that family had three dogs as big as Bruno, same breed. Bruno is a is a dog uh, called Leon Berger. Leon Berger, and it's a huge breed. Wonderful dogs. So so nice. But yeah. I mean, we're still looking for a family for him. Ideally, I mean, I would, look, I would love this to happen quite soon. I don't want him to spend much longer at the, at, uh, at the great house. Electra is getting on great. And you know what? I think Electra, I think we're going to move her to, to the great house or something. Anyway, I think she, she's great. She's great. Uh, we published a video of her three, four days ago, and uh, she's doing amazing. Doing amazing. Jack is recovering from the surgery. His leg is swell, swelling a little bit. We're going to take him for a, for a checkup to the hospital tomorrow, or Tuesday, actually. Um, yeah. Van Drake, you're new. What's going on? Oh, Van Drake, if you're new to this channel, welcome and get ready because beautiful things happen here. I suggest you go to the, to the video section and check out our latest videos, or probably even better, check our most viewed videos. That we have, we have, such, we have that playlist, and that will give you an idea on what it is that we do. It's great. Welcome to, welcome to Let's Adopt. Uh, yeah, we have... Uh, Obstacles. <laughs> yes, we do. We do. But you know what? Year after year, it's now been nearly 18 years, or probably more, I don't know. But uh, we're still here after all this time. So, yeah, okay. So check out these videos. Go to our video section and go visit our most watched videos. You're up for a treat. I promise you that. You're in Pakistan. Kemal. Okay. Wow. You don't have good vets, I know that. Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka. Um, yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult with vets. Vets over there, absolutely. Absolutely. Let me see, let me see. I'm trying to read your comments. Let's see, if you'd like to adopt Alma, 
write to me, write to me. My email address is on every video. By the way, guys, if any of you would like to adopt our animals, write to me. Write me a proper email and include pictures. I say this on every video and you wouldn't believe the amount of people that don't include any pictures. I need to see how your dogs live. That gives me an idea of how our dogs will live. <sighs> That's without borders in Pakistan, yeah. Look at this, guys, anyway, look at this. You know, I always, you know, I always say that many people don't like black dogs. Okay, just look at this. Seems that, seems that I have ended up with all the black dogs there is. And of course, Mia, she's white, but yeah. Yeah. And what else? My email. My email is over there. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Jan. Thank you. Lisa. Lisa, I know. I know you plan. And you and you got quite sick. And you went off the radar for a while. I know you told me everything. Hope hope everything is fine in uh in LA. I remember you very well, Lisa. I remember you. Mia is doing great. Mia is doing great. Look, here she is. She's always, always by my side when, when I'm home. She's attached to my hip. She's doing great. Now, love from Canada. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. So, Lisa, I will, I will check, but I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you're there and you're helping. I know. You, you told me everything that happened to you and I remember you very, very well. Very well. Alma is doing great, great recovery. I thought that her fear was gonna take such a long time to, to go away. But no, she is doing amazing, and I can't wait to find her at home. I really hope it's gonna happen before Christmas. It will be amazing. That dog really deserves a beautiful family. She's great, she's great, and she's not, she's not afraid anymore. She's so playful. She kind of, she's starting to like the camera and Alex, and she's doing great. You bought a, okay, Rick Wilson. You bought 20 acres of land to build a no-kill shelter. Could use some advice on how to network and fundraise if I could find the time in my busy schedule. Thank you. Well, what what would I advise to somebody wanting to open an Oakley shelter? First of all, I will tell you to 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 go ahead to do it. If that's your dream, do it. But before you do, have a plan have a plan on how you're gonna place those animals. You need to have an exit strategy for every animal that you take in. It's super important, it's everything. Because taking the animals in is the easy part. Rescue them is the easy part. But then what do you do with them? How do you find those families? Or if they stay with you as guests, permanent or temporary, how do you pay for all of that? So, so those two things, money sources, because it's not enough with just the land, and then pace yourself, start starts slowly, one by one, record, use, use video. I mean, so many times I've, I've, I've told people, use video. I mean, if you open a shelter or if you open a rescue group, it is your first and foremost obligation to record these cases, to tell the stories of the animals that you save, to find them homes, and then to find, to build a community around them. People that fall in love with them, that fall in love with what you do, and that are willing to give you a hand, 
to lend you a hand. They are, they're going to help you running this cost. Because it doesn't matter how much money you have, it will just go away. I mean, unless you build a community, a supportive community around your work, it's not going to work. And it could end up in being a big, big problem. So, so I strongly suggest you learn how to take video. It's super important. Either that, of course, or you build an amazing network community in your city or village and, you know, I don't know, do things the old-fashioned way. But uh, if you are going to do something today in the 21st century, I really encourage you to, to take up your phone and start making videos and edit them. Really. It's, uh, it's really important. So many rescues here in Spain... I mean, they don't have a Facebook page, they don't have a YouTube channel, they don't take pictures, they don't take videos, they don't take nothing. And then they complain and say, what is Gloria's breed? Gloria is a beautiful dog and the breed is called Podenco. Podencos are like cousin of Galgos. They are a, they are a, they are a dog used for hunting, sight hound. They, they, are, they are really amazing hunters. They have a big predatory drive. But there are also amazing dogs for the for the home and amazing dogs for children. And uh, you know, if they I mean, if if you, you have a cat in the house, chances are he's gonna accept the cat as a member of the family. Although sometimes it doesn't work so well. But yes, Gloria is a Podenco, Spanish breed. Really great. Okay, let's talk friends. Okay. You can always write me. I will, I, will, I will try to help. Thank you, Chihuahua. Chihuahua dog life. Love what I do. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Lisa, yes, of course we do. Yes, of course we do. Of course, we will adopt to someone that had plenty of animals but doesn't have one right now. Of course we do, Lisa. To you, absolutely. Um... Yeah, I mean, we always ask for people to have another animal at least when when they want to adopt for adopt, for for two reasons. I mean, first of all, because animals are social and are social beings. So you see, they they all like to be together with you know as a pack. <laughs> More than one is great, but also very importantly because if you have had an animal or you have an animal right now, is the only way I have to know for sure that you're good with animals. And you can show me pictures of your dogs and I can see how they live. If you don't have any animal right now, of course, I mean, you can, you can make exceptions. So, so tell me a story. Tell me, tell me your story with animals and absolutely, we will definitely consider it. And certainly, Lisa, just write to me. You have my contacts. Okay? We try to adopt it. We try, I mean, we don't adopt in pairs. Per se, I mean, imagine to find a home for a dog is difficult. To find a home for two dogs at the same time is a nightmare. It would be nearly impossible. But we like for our dogs to go to a house where there is another animal. That That's always really, really good. That's really, really good. <sighs> okay, well, guys, I'm going to cut a bit short today. I've, uh, I've had recently requests to help cats. Um, not as many, to be honest. Not as many. Um, not as many. There is, a, there is a growing tendency here in where I live to take care of cat colonies outside. And these colonies are more and more better cared for. So I'm sure this, this has also something to do, but I don't know. For whatever reason, we don't have that many cat requests although I know they, they need us. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna cut it short today. I'm a bit, I'm not feeling too well. Uh, I still need to process a little bit of what's happening. And I promise you tomorrow, I will, I will tell you more about what happened to, to Lola. Okay? Let me see. You only have 900 subscribers. Would you would like to mention me? Absolutely. Thank you very much, Grey You have a gaming channel, okay? Love gamers. 
I'm crap at playing video games, but you guys are great. Thank you for thank you for the mentioning. That would be wonderful. So I'm gonna leave you for for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Come and see what uh, what happened to Lola, and leave a leave a note tomorrow. It's really sad news, but anyway, it's life, and and life continues. Life continues. Thanks a lot for everything. Thank you, and to those of you that are, have left a chat, super chat, or what? Anybody join me on Patreon today? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter, really. Thanks a lot, and I will see you in tomorrow's video, okay? And come back next Sunday. Hopefully, I'll be in a better mood. Today, please excuse me. It's been tough, tough going to be here, but very nice to be here, of course. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much for for spending time with me. Thank you. Take care. Grandma, yes, we can adopt to Canada and the US. Write to me, please. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. And I'll see you tomorrow. Or actually, you will see me tomorrow. I will have to imagine you're there reading. But I know you're there. Take care. Ciao, ciao. Bye.